गुड मॉर्निंग स्टडी वे आर डिस्कसिंग अबउट हाउ टू डेराइव स्टिफ्ने मैट्रिक्स फॉर बार एलमेंट ना आफ्टर स्टिफ्ने मैट्रिक्स नेक्स्ट डेरीवेशन इन युवर मॉड्यूल वन इज हाउ टू डेराइव लोड वेक्टर फॉर बार एलमेंट ना वन अगेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग ओनली बार एलमेंट कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट रेप्रजेंट दि बार एलमेंट वी नो दट वट इज बार एलमेंट हेविंग ए टू नोडेड एलमेंट हेविंग One displacement at each node, or we call it as a one-dimensional element. Now we know that the displacement is q1. Here the displacement is q2. Then from origin to this point, we can write x1. Okay. From origin to here, we can write that is x2. Now from Node one to node two, that is x two minus x one, that will be equal to length of the element. Then natural coordinate zeta is equal to minus one, zeta equals to minus one to zeta equals to plus one, zeta equals to minus one to zeta equals to plus one. Now bracket node number one and node number two. Now this is how you can represent your element. Now to determine the load vectors for bar element, first we should know that how many load vectors we can derive for an a bar element. Derive for an a bar element. Now we can write first. We know that potential energy functional pi is equal to strain energy plus work potential. Strain energy plus work potential. We know that from strain energy we can get it stiffness matrix. Now from work potentials we can get it your load vectors. Now We know the expression for strain energy pi is equal to half into volume integral sigma transpose epsilon into dv minus volume integral u transpose f into dv minus u transpose t into ds that is line integral sorry surface integral minus summation of uy transpose into pi. I think earlier we discussed what is the each term here. Each term here, first term represents your strain energy. Then remaining all the terms represents your work potential. Now, if you want to determine your load vectors, so these are the terms you want to use it. Here, each term will have a significance. The first term, what it will represent, it will represent your body force term. That is second term of your expression. Third term, it is represents your surface force and Last term it represents your point cloud. Now because of this, here load vectors for bar element can be categorized into three steps. One is load vector due to. Now heading is load vector due to. Load vector due to body force. Load vector due to body force. Body force. Load vector due to body force. Now if you want to derive load vector due to body force, now take the term. Body force term. Now here I have body force term. I will take that as u suffix f. Okay. I will take this term. That is volume integral u transpose f into dv. Now if you observe this, this term is in three dimensional. That is volumetric representation is doing. But our element what we have taken, it is a one dimensional element. One dimensional element. Now, because of this one-dimensionality, convert this complete exp expression into one-dimensional. How to convert it? We know that this will be line integral, strain line integral because length of element. U transpose keep it as it is. F keep it as it is. Now we know that dv can be converted into a into dx. A into dx. If you observe line integral, it is varying from minus one to plus one. Okay. Now. Here line integral is there, but dx is there. But zeta is varies from minus one to plus one. I want to change the limits from length of the element to minus one to plus one. For that, we should use your previous concept, that is a relation between natural coordinate system and global coordinate system. What is our relation? Zeta is equal to zeta is equal to two into x minus x one divided by X two minus X one minus one. X two minus X one minus one. Now, if you differentiate this, d zeta by d x is equal to what you are going to get? Two by X two minus X one. That will be written as two by 
length of the element. That means I can change dx is equal to Le by 2 into d theta. We can write like this. I will take this to your previous expression that is ux is equal to one limit equal becomes minus 9, length equal can be changed to minus 1 to plus 1, minus 1 to plus 1. Now u transpose I will keep it as it is, f I will keep it as it is, a I will keep it as it is. In place of dx I will write Le by 2 into d theta. Le by 2 into d theta. But still we cannot find the solution completely. Now u, we know that what is u? u for bar element is summation of nq. For general expression u will be equal to summation of nq. For bar element this will be equal to n1 q1 plus n2 q2. n1 q1 plus n2 q2. Now we know for bar element what is n1? n1 is nothing but shape function of bar element that is in natural coordinate system we know that 1 minus zeta by 2 n2 is equal to 1 plus zeta by 2. 1 plus zeta by 2 n1 is equal to 1 minus zeta by 2, n2 is equal to 1 plus zeta by 2. Now if you bring it here into our equation, it will become 1 minus zeta by 2 into q1 plus 1 plus zeta by 2 into q2. Or this also we can express like this, n1, n2 into q1, q2. This also I can generally write u is equal to n q. u is equal to n q. Now bring this u equals to n q into, take this as equation number 2. Take your previous equation, this as equation number 1. Now bring your equation number, sorry, u equals n q into your equation number 2. If you bring this, what happened? Just observe now. Just observe now. Now u is equal to u is equal to sorry u f is equal to because I'm bringing it to equation number two u f is equal to minus one to plus one okay now u transpose I'll write u transpose as n q transpose n q transpose okay into f into a into l e by two into d theta f into l e by two into d theta this can be written like this also u f is equal to Q transpose, I will keep it outside. Minus 1 to plus 1, minus 1 to plus 1. Now, F A L E by 2 into N transpose into D zeta. This we will write like this also. This will be equal to Q transpose into F E. Q transpose into F E. Now, F E is called as a body force for element, body force vector for element. Now, this Q transpose into Fe, we can write it in a general expression. Now, this entire term I represent like a Fe. Fe is called body force vector. Why Q transpose into Fe? Q transpose, always Q is depending upon your, the how much amount of load you apply because it is an, a dependent parameter. Now, Fe is a constant parameter. I will take F suffix E will be equal to, Fe will be equal to. Now, F A L E by 2 minus 1 to plus 1 minus 1 to plus 1 here n transpose what is n transpose we know that n, n n will be equal to if you observe this n will be equal to n1 n2 now n transpose we can write it in the form of a column that is n1 n2 into digit n1 n2 into digit now write this f a l e by 2 f a l e by 2 okay now f a l e by 2 minus 1 to plus 1 what is the n1 1 minus zeta by 2 1 plus zeta by 2 into d zeta okay now if you go for simplifying this f e f a a l e by now in both of is common i'll bring it outside 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 minus 1 to plus 1 1 minus zeta 1 plus zeta into d zeta now, this you can differentiate, integrate individually and determine the solution, final solution for it. Now, what is your expression? You got it. Now, just go through this. Just go through this. Okay. Now, F e is equal to, I am writing F e is equal to. Now, here, F e, L e by 4. I will keep it as it is. Now, I will go with the integration of your term. Integration of 1 is zeta. 
minus zeta is zeta square by 2. Integration of 1 is zeta plus zeta square by 2. Now the limit, what I will make it is, I will apply limit individually. Minus 1 to plus 1, minus 1 to plus 1. That means I integrated individually. Now if you go for simplification of it, FA LE by 4, FA LE by 4. Now apply your upper limit minus lower limit, upper limit plus 1, minus of 1 by 2, minus of, what is the lower limit? Minus 1, next, minus as it is. Minus 1 whole square plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, this is the top. Similarly, lower this, this term 1 plus 1 by 2, then minus of minus 1, then here plus 1 by 2. Now, just check it. F A L E by 4. Now, just check here. What is the term? You are, what is the value you are going to get it? Minus 1, minus into minus, it will become plus 1, that is 2. Minus of, minus into minus plus of, it will cancel. This and this term will cancel. Similarly, here also, 1, minus into minus plus 1, 2, plus of, minus of, it will cancel, it will remain as 2. Now, this can be written as Fa Le by 2 into, Fa Le by 2 into 1, 1. Fa Le by 2 into 1, 1. That is load vector F A is equal to F A L E by 2 into 1 1. Now this is called load vector due to